good to see you. I know I'm gonna. Look at you. You look good. <laughs> what? You look good. <laughs> what? <laughs> there you go. How are you? You guys are everywhere. How I'm you doing? Trying to be. How you feeling? What you, I know you're doing some media this week. What are you working on? Uh, what are you oh, there's always something. You always got something because going there's on. always aliens visiting, and I have to say they're not. <laughs> but then I have to say I can't say anything further about it. <laughs> Should we, let me ask this. Speaking of radio, area, uh, the area 51. Yeah. Have you heard anything of what goes on there, or know anything specifically that? Goes I'm on? not authorized to comment for that. No, no just, just come on. Just kidding. Here, here. Here's here's my point. Let me get the my, 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 my. Here's my point. Do you really have that much confidence in the U.S. government that they could stockpile aliens and no one would leak a photo of it? A janitor or something? Okay, the janitor would lose his job the next day, but it would be the richest, most famous janitor there ever was. <laughs> yeah. I said cat videos go viral instantly. If the janitor got a picture of some slimy alien crawling out of a flying saucer from Area 51, just just put that up on the cloud. Oh my gosh, that hasn't happened. So, do you think in your life, in your lifetime, you'll ever, it, you'll be able to see something or see some life form outside of Earth? We are looking intensely for life in our backyard, the solar system. Sure. Wherever we find water, we're looking for life. Because every place on Earth where there's water, liquid water, there's life thriving with it. Even the Dead Sea has life in it. But it was called the Dead Sea by people who didn't have microscopes. Yeah. Okay. So it's, it's the microbes doing the backstroke in the Dead Sea. So on Mars, on Europa, on Enceladus, these are moons of Jupiter. Oh my gosh, that's where we're looking now. And I'd like in my lifetime to know if there's life elsewhere. No, they wouldn't be like little green men with laser guns, but they could be microbial life. Yeah. That would be amazing. Yeah. Life somewhere other than Earth, and that's what we're looking for. And if, But we also have people looking for life visiting us in the form of lights in the sky. I'm not convinced, but if you are, keep, keep doing it. I hear you. I'm, I'm not going to stop you. No, but... Right now, obviously, space travel is very in. Do you think that you will ever go? I love that phrase. Say it again. Space travel is in. Say it, it, is it's in. Exactly. I love it. I love people it. Because space travel is in, but people. We are got regular good. people going into space. Regular people. People are on the, people are on the waiting list to go into yes. space. Yes. Is that something that you're interested in doing? Or I want to turn. Wait? I'd love to. Oh, me personally. Yeah. I'm an astrophysicist, and how, you can ask how far are they going? Like the Bez the bo billionaire boys race. Yeah. Bezos Branson. If the Earth were a schoolroom globe, you can ask, how far above the schoolroom globe did they go? They went the thickness of two dimes above a schoolroom globe. So if you say, do you want to go into space? I say, I don't want to boldly go where hundreds have gone before. Yeah. All right? As an astrophysicist, send me to a destination, the moon, Mars, beyond. Give me a good streaming account and a good life. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'll bring the family, and I will take that trip. But if we're only just going joy riding around the earth, I'd, not for me. Other people, sure. When's the last time you got your IQ measured? It's never been measured on purpose. Really? Is this just something no one cares I, I haven't. Okay. Suppose I measured my IQ and it was low. Yeah. I would say to myself, I guess I won't accomplish anything. I better take up something that doesn't require any mental talent. And if it was really high... I'd say to myself, oh, I should accomplish something. So I know it would totally mess with your head. So I'd rather just accomplish all that my wisdom, my knowledge, and especially my ambition can bring for me. Consider all the people who are really smart as kids and you never heard of them later, because at some point, ambition matters. That, that overrides everything. Your GPA, how many adults even remember their GPA, all right? What's the last thing? How old are you? How old, what's the last time someone asked you your GPA? Yeah, I, I, I don't even know. Sure. I, I know you're gainfully employed, right? You're yeah, having yeah. joy in life, okay? Yeah. So this thing about, let me measure you in this one dimension called IQ, and that will be the determiner, the, 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 the deterministic force for the rest of your life. No, I'm not embracing that. Interesting. I mean, they're not, I agree with that. I'm just, you, you, you I'm just it very well. saying. I would rather not know so that I can set my own limits on my own life. I love it, my friend. Well, listen, it's great to see you. You're a legend. It's great. Huge fan. Always uh, keep an eye. You're a great on Twitter. It's great to see you, my friend. It's look for my letter. I posted a letter today. Okay. Take a look for it. It's called an anonymous...
an anonymous letter to the world. Today, March 20th, the Equinox. Check it out. It's on all my platforms. I love it. It's a short. Take a look at it. I will do. All right, buddy. Dude. Good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good to you see you.